in Italy. He became a servant of the Archbishop of Canterbury of the day, Theobalds, who trained him by sending him to Bologna to study law, and then to France, Auxerre, which is not far from here, where he studied law. He ended up as Archbishop of Canterbury, but he had real problems with the kind of English thuggery. Henry II was, was a bit of a thug king, really. And um, they, they started disputing about, I suppose, ultimately, the battle is about God, spirit, versus mammon and power and wealth and, and militarism. Henry was saying, no, you know, the secular power is all important. And Thomas was trying to say, yeah, fine, but, you know, God's law, God's love has at least equal, if not more, importance in the long run. And because he was the authority representing spirituality for the whole kingdom, he then had a constitutional duty to tick Henry off. That annoyed Henry, so Henry kept trying to sort of defeat him and humiliate him and brought him to meetings where he'd make him, you know, humiliate himself. And eventually Thomas had enough and he fled to France. He came over here to escape. He, became, he took refuge. He's Archbishop of Canterbury. Can you imagine Justin Welby doing that? If Justin Welby, in my dream, Justin Welby and the others suddenly were enlightened by the Thomas of Becket tradition and they stood up like Thomas of Becket and said no to these secular rulers in Parliament or whatever. I don't know, to be honest, what the Queen thinks she's doing in not speaking out. Is she, is she on the Henry II's side that you just kind of let this stuff happen? I hope not. She needs to speak out against Brexit. Um, but certainly Justin Welby and, and the inheritors of the Thomas of Becket tradition should be speaking out. There should be a march from Canterbury to London as part of this great protest on the 26th of March. Um, because Thomas of Becket would be turning in his grave. He was a great European... He was a scholar in France. He lived for a long time in an abbey near Troy. I went to the treasury, sorry, near Sens, another great cathedral city in the north of France. I went to the cathedral and saw the vestments he used as Archbishop of Canterbury. They are still preserved after 800 years in the, in the treasury at this amazing cathedral of Sens. And um, Thomas stood up against the thuggery of his day in... in insisting that ethics and spirituality should take precedence. And his, his payment was to be hacked to get to death by a, a mob of thuggery knights. Um, and in my dream, it was revealed to me that the people that are most going for Brexit, the Goves and all these kind of people, are reincarnated knights who killed Beckett. <laughs> it, was a, it was a kind of nightmare, actually, because I thought, oh my God, Rhys Mogg, he was that one. Gove, he was that one that, you know, chopped his head off. I mean, I see them as that. Culturally, they're on that level. They're wrecking, just like the people that killed Thomas of Beckett. And I'm afraid, my dear friends, I'm on Beckett's side. You know, I'm called Thomas. I'm in that tradition of, of the Book of Thomases, which I've written. And we do stand up to thuggery. We do stand up to these ruffians. And that's what these Brexit people are like. And... Um, you know, if it requires martyrdom again, so be it. But uh, let's hope that all that happens is that people get the aha moment and wake up out of this nightmare, make a stand, along with the people of Scotland, the people of Britain, people of Wales, people of England, anyone that can actually think this thing through properly um, and, 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 you know, really do some research on, on what our country is, where it came from. We really seriously need to change and update the way that history is taught in schools. We should teach the whole of the history of the UK, all of its precious parts, and the whole of the history of Europe you know, as basic standard content for, for kids in history lessons. I'd be happy to you know, write the curriculum. And then for RE lessons, likewise, the whole history of world spirituality, the history of the great saints of Britain and Europe should be taught. And uh, a special lesson on Thomas and Beckett and Columba and how their thoughts were similar would be very good for promoting English, Scottish and European peace. OK, I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope this has helped uh, fuel the debate in a constructive way. <laughs>